So I just uh, took the shaft out of the vapour honer. Uh, I haven't really dried it off all that well, but uh, I made sure that water was pushed down here and it came out of all these little holes here. All right? It's in great condition. In fact, I think it's the first one I've ever had that I've not had to replace when rebuilding the gearbox. It's really unusual. But all the bearing surfaces are beautiful. You know, you can feel it with your fingers. When you get, you know, you, you, you'll feel bits and pieces and it feels lovely. Ooh, sexy. Right, so let's get this back into the ultrasonic. I can't film while I'm doing ultrasonic work because it'll go bzzz. We'll see what we can do. Right, now I've got one of the cleanest shafts in Canada. I'm going to start to assemble this bad boy. We're going to pick up a suitable bearing. Put a bit of oil on it. We've got, I've got MTF in this gun here. And we're going to start to assemble in the opposite uh, order. Now we'll see if I can do this synchro in one big lump. Yes, look at that, that was good, wasn't it? And next we need uh, this bit, the first gear. Now I haven't put the bush in yet, so I might, I might have to take this out again. Now, I've got to clean this bit up, I forgot to clean this bit. So with that bit cleaned up, we're going to oil inside here, put the bearing in, bush. Is that going to go on there? Not quite square. This is a bit of a tight fit. There we go. There we go. That's that bit tightened up. Oh, you see how it all dropped into place there? Lovely jubbly. So the next thing, we've got to put the bearing on. Mm -hmm. Now, which one is it? Good question. We have a selection of bearings here. But let's have a look at the old bearing number. We want nineteen one. I think it's five zero. I think it could be this one. Nope, it's not that one. Yeah, we're on that one. Ah, could be this one because this has got the collar on it. There's a number. No, it's not that one. I think that might be the lower shaft one. Oh, it's that one. How come it's not the same number? Well, that's the one, believe me. Because it came out of the set with the shoulder on here for the shim, so that would go like that against the ship. So, what we're going to do now is make sure that that's all nicely lubed up. Put a bit of oil down inside. 
And then we're going to go across to the press and press that bearing on. Now I already have a piece of scaffolding tube here of the right diameter so it doesn't catch the bearing and we'll lift up the jack and hopefully we'll slip this one in making sure all the gears turn nice and free. Next, back to the bench. Oh, maybe took it on and turned it off, I don't know. Right, I don't know if you caught that one, I might have turned the camera off, but I'm not going to do it again. Uh, we've just got to now check, that was our 25,000, we've got plenty of room there, and the same with this one, plenty of room there, so that's stonking. Next thing, we're going to assemble Third gear. Bearing. Oil. Bearing. Uh, gear. Not a bearing. There we go. And let's see if we can put this assembly on like we did the other one. Splash a bit all over, like group 33. Drop that on. And there, it locked in nice. Now, where's our little top collar? Our top thing, and now we need a tiny bearing, which is this one here. I took all these boxes out because we've already got those bearings. There's the bearing at the top. All we're going to do now is find a suitable socket and push that on. Right, here goes. Got a socket there. this on the bench and cover it over let's get on with something else. Uh, the day before I took out the reverse idler, cleaned it, put a new bearing on, assembled it, don't forget the washer. Now we're going to press it on here. Don't put it on the wrong way around. Let's make sure it's nice. Not sure if that's going to reach. Um, it will with that. Now we have to put a tube underneath that because actually sticks out inside. There we go. So that's got it lined up. Oh, that's a bit tight. It's a bit tight on there. I wonder why that is. 
Well, I don't know what was wrong with that. I took it out and put it back in again. It's all right now. Strange, that, isn't it? Right, back to the bench. One of the tricky jobs with the lay shaft is getting the uh, the bearings off. But this is again is a great use for the dismantling tool because it's thin enough to go behind and just get a start. to take that off I don't know if it will pry off it might do yes look at that come to daddy use the other end Fair enough. Now the other side is not so bad. Because on this side here we can get a little punch and start to punch those off. Let me have a look under here, see if I can find a punch to punch that off. Jaws aren't being soft enough, I suppose. <laughs> this might take a little while. Hmm. It should come off. Well, this has been a real pain. I warmed it up and it still won't come off. I think what I'm going to have to do is just cut the cage off and put the the half moon clamps around it and push it off with the, on the um, on the press. That's really tight. It's, usually they come off and it's this one that's a bit tight. Oh well, let me see. Let me destroy that bearing. I have to get my grinder out. I'm just going to split this plate, the outer off. Get rid of that. Now I can put the uh, clamp round here and pull that off, hopefully. So there you go, just put the little collar on there and it came off. They are tricky to get off, but anyway that's that done. But now while we've got this gear here in the vise, let's have a look at another little problem we had. With this gear. You remember I had to put the puller on to take this off but you can see how free it is until it just gets up to there. It's something on that spline. I don't know really what it is. No, I was just thinking when I had my grinder out, I'm not going to actually grind it, but could I use a stone Not to sand inside that groove. I don't know where it actually is. There's a high spot somewhere. But it's not right. And it's not in the gear, it's it's on here somewhere. I'm gonna persevere with this and see how it comes out. I just noticed something very interesting with this uh, shaft here. You can see I painted it black. If you can remember how to use a puller to get this off, and it's very tight around here. So I put some black paint on it to see where it was tight, and it's touching here, and it's touching there. Now, I'm just wondering, is that bent? Is that shaft bent? Because... That's the bearing that came off here. See? Nothing special there, but look how loose it is. Remember the one with the the race here? I wonder if it's been forced against something. Now, that's a problem. 
Mm. Now, the problem with these is that uh, it, on an R380, if you've got a situation where you've got four forward gears, no reverse and no fifth, this shaft snaps off here. It snaps just here on that shoulder. Now, obviously, I don't want to take that risk. And I don't know why that gear is so tight. You see, it goes down so far and then just jams. Jamming. And it was the same at this end, it came off so far and then just jammed right in the middle. So, I'm in no rush for this job. I've got other things I can build up and clean. I love cleaning. But I think I'll clean this shaft back up again here. And take it down to JP. To, to verify it's bent because he can, he can put this. Because it's a centred here and centred here. He can pop that in his lathe and spin it. And we can have a look and see if there's any deflection in it. If there is sure if it's straightening out would be a good idea we'll see but it, it could be something else but it's funny is that no matter how many permutations I try of this shaft this gear it still sticks in the same place but it's been flaying around because of that bearing and although there's a bearing support here and there's a bearing support here you know, if, you, if you've got a bit of that going on, we don't know. Unfortunately, I haven't got a lid. I don't want one either. So I think what I'll do is I'll postpone this section for now, which is a bit of a shame, and continue cleaning all the rest of the bits and pieces up, ready to go back together again this afternoon. It's Saturday afternoon, I can't really be bothered with too much anyway. But... Uh, I think that's what we'll do. We've got it, we've got done quite well, but like I say, sometimes that's I've never had that happen before. But um, it's always the first time, isn't there? So we'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm.